Hey, it's Davey Tech T. What's going on, everybody? And I'm here with Keith from FLIR One, or rather, that's the name of the product, from FLIR. Uh, and he had a really cool product to show us here at the booth, and you can see the booth behind us here for Android Authority. Uh, and uh, he wanted to kind of talk to us about it. We thought it was a really nice product. So I'm gonna let Keith explain what exactly this little peripheral is that connects to a smartphone. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, hear a little bit about this. Yeah, so this is the FLIR One thermal imaging camera. It essentially allows you to see the invisible world of infrared light. Mm. We call it superpowers. It turns your smartphone into a brilliant phone. So at CES this year, we've launched two versions. This is the pro version here. It'll be available in the second quarter for $399. And then we have a entry level model that's $199. Ah, okay. So it, it always it's always nice to have a different way of looking at things, you know, infrared, uh, heat vision, stuff mm -hmm. like that. As they said, they call it superpowers. But I guess the main question that would be on a lot of people's minds is, um, what kind of applications are we looking for for a thermal, or rather an infrared imaging camera like this? Yeah, so the primary applications would be uh, DIY, do-it-yourself activity, so mm -hmm. checking windows and doors for drafts, energy efficiency. You can mm -hmm. also use it for um, vermin infestation. We can oh. detect heat, uh, including bees, nests, and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also great for detecting water leaks, uh, even finding studs on exterior walls. Mm. Um, it's also good for finding blockages. Um, you can also use it in uh, car uh, maintenance diagnostics. Uh, if you're having a blockage in your AC or heat system, mm -hmm. you'd be able to detect that pretty easily with this device. And really, the possibilities are endless. So what kind of uh, technology? I, I can see on the peripheral here that you have a couple yeah. of cameras there. Mm -hmm. uh, what, exactly is, what exactly is the tech that's causing this to happen? Yeah, so there's essentially it's a two-camera system. Okay. So there's a thermal imaging camera here. Uh, it's called the Lepton Thermal Imaging Sensor, and then we have a uh, two megapixel visible camera. Mm. So we have this process called multispectral imaging, also known as MSX, mm. that basically embosses the edge detail of the visible camera onto the thermal data. So it gives you a richer uh, and a lot more richer image and a lot more context. To what uh, okay. At. Well, I'm sure there's going to be some B-roll of the application itself, the FLIR One, if I'm, if I'm. That's, that's correct. Yeah. That's yeah. The, so the app uh, will be able to um, record the video and to rec and to take photos, but in either sense, right? So the, the regular camera will be able to take regular photos, but then you can always overlay the infrared on top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can actually um, you shoot in just thermal imaging. Mm -hmm. And then you can also shoot in the visible with just the visible camera, and then you can do the MSX. So gotcha. there's really three ways that you can use this device. Uh, okay, I'm looking at the peripheral right now, and I notice it's a USB-C port, Correct. or rather plug. Yeah. Uh, so uh, from what I remember, after after Keith came earlier uh, mm -hmm. to show us the product, he was using a Google Pixel. So with that in mind, I have my Pixel, which is actually right here, and uh, you'll be seeing footage right now of the show floor here at CES. We're just walking through the show floor, and I'll be cutting in and out, as you can see here, with the thermal camera, with the FLIR one and with my camera so you can kind of see the difference there uh, so aside from applications um, when it comes to consumer grade uh, products like this what kind of price point have you guys put on here for uh, yeah for consumers yeah so for the entry-level consumer model that's $199 and that's the least expensive thermal imaging camera ever created oh great it's very exciting and then we have an upgraded 399 version called the FLIR One Pro. Mm. And this provides uh, a little bit better image processing. Mm -hmm. There's more diagnostic capabilities and also one touch reporting. Uh, so if you're a plumber or electrician mm. and you notice a problem, you can take a picture uh, and then produce a report and then send it to your client and let them know the issue. Uh, okay. I'm guessing you may or may not have uh, different plugs for other phones as well. Uh, I know USB-C is the future, but there are some micro, SB, micro USB out there. Yeah, so that's something <laughs> that we're discussing right now, actually. And uh, we may include an adapter with this device that will allow you to go from USB-C to micro USB. Uh, okay. Uh, any plans in the future for because I've been saying this for a few different peripherals where mm -hmm. it's uh, it would be great to see, for example, 360 cameras or even just different kinds of cameras uh, built into smartphones. Yeah. Uh, would you would you be willing, would, like, is it in the plans at all to see this kind of technology, at least from your standpoint, actually yeah. built into a phone? Yeah, actually, that's already happened. Oh, really? Uh, there is the Cat S60 Android oh, phone. Oh, the Cat phones. Yeah, yes. produced by a company called Bullet Group. Mm -hmm. and, um, 
It's a phenomenal device, and it's basically a Fivlier one embedded into an Android gotcha. phone. Gotcha, that's great. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Um, oh, one thing I should have asked earlier, uh, you gave us the price points, but yeah. where can the people find these uh, devices? Are there any vendors or online, Amazon, you guys' website? Yeah, so this, this device will be available uh, later this year, but mm -hmm. we do have what we call the FLIR 1 Generation 2 available. Okay. And you can buy that at uh, FLIR.com, Amazon, BestBuy.com. Oh, so it will be out there. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Right. So I can't say what the distribution is mm -hmm. quite yet for this device. Of course. Uh, but you can expect something similar. Okay, great. Well, hopefully you're seeing the image uh, right now of the difference between a regular Pixel camera and then you'll be able to see everything with your superpowers <laughs> yes. through, the, through the infrared imaging of the FLIR 1. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for this and even more wonderful little accessories and peripherals like this, taking a little bit of out-of-box thinking. Uh, that way you have a different way of actually experiencing your smartphones. Uh, then, Keith, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. You have a safe flight back. I know that the snowstorm is going to be a little yeah. bit rough on you. <laughs> yeah, I was actually supposed to go back last night. Oh, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why he's here with yeah. us. So it, all, uh, it worked out in the end. Yeah, it kind of worked out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and all of our coverage here at CES 2017. Make sure you keep it tuned to Android Authority and all of our properties for even more because we are your source for everything Android and more.